You sure he comes through here? I showed you the trail not more than 10 yards away. Ah, the jungle's full of native trails. Not one like this. The African jungle male has been using this one for a long time. It doesn't seem possible a guy can cover the whole distance between Ujiji and Zanzibar. It's 800 miles of a dense jungle. But those native runners can do it. I've been casing this job for a long time, Seeley. I know what I'm doing. I've staked you for a long time. You better know. Every step has been checked over. The runner will be carrying Bennett's map. Okay, Blake. Let's just hope your mailman doesn't decide to use a different trail this time. You never know who might be wandering around. And the gun makes noise. How did you first hear about Bennett? He's a geologist who's been prospecting the mountains and jungles around Ujiji for years. He never stopped trying to make a diamond strike and hoping to make a fortune for his daughter. Finally, he did it. And the map he's sending through the mail gives the exact location of his strike? Sure, it has to. He's mailing it to his lawyer in Zanzibar so that it can be registered. Ah. And as soon as we get the map, we register the claim in our name, then get rid of the old man and his daughter. It served the old fool right. I tried to make a deal with him. But he wouldn't go for it. <laughs> Good thing there's no mail plane service from where he is. I wouldn't trust a, a birthday card to a jungle postman who has to run 800 miles through jungle. Once in a while, a lion or some other animal gets one of them. But usually they get through. What a way to make a living. I wouldn't... It's only half the map. And you called Bennett a fool. Seems to me he was smart enough to know somebody might try to jump his claim. We're going back to Bennett's place near Ujiji and get the other half of this map. What about him? You know what happens to a dead man in the jungle? Let's get away from here while it's still daylight. Dr. Yes, Willie, that's enough. There must really be a difference between the animal and human sense of balance. <laughs> My bet was on that swing for exactly 40 minutes and loved every minute of it. Could you do it? <laughs> Just watching her made me seasick. Well, sure, Howard. Even a child couldn't take 40 minutes of that. As soon as we can, we'll have to do some research into the function of the inner ear that gives us our sense of balance. I bet say swing give her much appetite. <laughs> well, I didn't hear her say it, but give her an extra banana tonight anyway. She earned it. Me give. <laughs> I think Babette has Willie buffaloed. <laughs> Look at his back. Now he's been stabbed with a knife. He's one of those jungle mailmen, the ones that go all the way through to Zanzibar. That's right, and his pack is gone. He's badly hurt. Help me get him in the tent. Hey, 
Hey, Blake. I gotta rest. You're used to this jungle heat. I'm not. Look, Seeley, we have to get to Bennett before he finds out what happened to the mailman. Once he's warned, he'd be more on guard than before. All right, but just take it easy. Is he going to pull out of it? I'm afraid not. If we only had some plasma. Can you hear me now? Me, me here. Well, what happened? Who stabbed you? Lyle one. Strangers. Never see before. They, they... Try to talk. You have to tell me what happened. Warner Bennett's letter. Well, I know Steve Bennett. He lives with his daughter near Ujiji. Two strangers. Take letter. Find half map. Half map? Warner Bennett wanting claim to diamond mine. He... He's dead. Besides robbery, there's a murder charge against those two now. What did he mean by half map? Well, old time prospectors often use those means to protect their claims when sending in a map for registration. I can see why. Howard, the Bennett should be warned. Those killers will be going back to get the rest of the map. You're right, Tom. Willie, get things ready. We're going to UGG as soon as we bury this poor devil. I'm back. Mail. You mean somebody actually remembered we're still alive? <laughs> it's from Joe. He wants to know if and when we're coming back to the States. He has a right to worry. He's your son. <laughs> Wait till he hears we're all going to become millionaires. That'll teach you that I'm old enough to take care of myself. Sometimes I wonder. You leave the other half of that map around as though it were a grocery store receipt. <laughs> Nobody will ever trouble us. Dad, I love you very much. But there are lots of people in this world that would gladly hit you over that unsuspecting head of yours to get that mine for themselves. Oh, dear, please. Would you like me to have a nervous breakdown here or go inside for us? Oh, very well, then. You go and pick yourself a mysterious little spot, and we'll, we'll bury the map. I've already picked it. What? Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> here we are. Half the map is good as new. Shall we leave it here? Why, certainly, my dear. It'll make you feel any happier. Thanks, Dad. Now I don't have to have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> I'll be a mighty happy gal when that mine's officially registered and we can start working it. You never did learn to trust the jungle, did you, dear? Maybe you've learned to trust it too much. Let's see what we can find for dinner. <laughs> hey, Tom. We don't have any idea how much head start they have on us. Well, all we can do is hope we're not too late. Don't shoot. If those killers are anywhere around, they'd hear the shot. Better wait till the trail is clear. And the trail's clear now. Let's get on. Howard, look. The mail pouch. Pick it up, Willie. Put it in here. Now, hang on to this, Willie. As soon as we can, we'll turn it over to the postal authorities. Well, let's get on to Bennett's before something else happens.
It's almost midnight. How much longer are you going to wait? They should be in bed by now. We'll leave the stuff here. Nobody's going to touch it this time of night. Better leave that here, too. You have a nitchy finger with a gun. This won't wake up the whole jungle. Okay. If there's any killing to be done, it's on you. You don't worry too much. Well, if I remember right, the Bennett place should be in the next clearing. Oh, I hope so. Traveling through the jungle at night isn't exactly my cup of tea. Feeling any better? <laughs> I'll be all right, honey. I can, I can still raise my arms, so there can't be too much damage. It stopped bleeding. That's a good sign. Thank you for hiding the map, honey. Looks like I'll have to hide you next. Are you sure you didn't get a good look at their faces? No, it, it all happened so quickly. I... All I saw was their backs when they ran out. I wonder who could have known about the map. Well, anybody within 30 or 40 miles from here, it's hard to keep a thing like that secret. Well, they won't get it. Now, look here, honey. I could have been killed last night. And it could have happened to you just as easy. Now, supposing I had been killed, what would have happened to you? Why, you would have been alone. Oh, now, wait a minute, Dad. Now you wait a minute. Perhaps Joe was right. And perhaps we should go back to the States. Go, go back? Just when we get a strike? Do you remember that man who wanted to make a deal with me? Rod Blake? Well, it, it wasn't much of a, an offer, but it, it could have worked out all right, and, and we could have gotten out of here in a hurry. I'll disown you if you let anybody else in on this deal. Just because I'm a girl doesn't necessarily mean you get frightened the first time something happens. My dear, you're worth more than everything else in the world to me. Rama! Dr. Reynolds, Dad's been stabbed. We were too late. It's in the shoulder, Tommy. It's not bad. Well, you better let me decide that. I washed it and put hot compresses on it. I hope that was right. Just right. You saved him from infection. I know all about your map, Steve, and I have bad news for you. Oh, what now? Well, the mailman who was carrying your letter with half of the map was killed. Oh, the poor man. Oh, so that's it. They had the half, and they came for the rest last night. Did they get it? No, thanks to Pat. She had it hidden in the underbrush. Oh, well, that's fine. <laughs> She's a good daughter, Tom, but very stubborn. I take after him. <laughs> All these years, my father's been knocking around this jungle prospecting. Now that he's got what he's after, he wants to sell out. Are you serious, Steve? Oh, if that knife had been two inches further over, it, it would have been in my heart. And Pat might have been killed, too. No, it's, it, it's not worth it. Well, I'd better clean this up. I'll have you fixed up in a jiffy. <laughs> You know, the map could have been where the girl was sleeping. So what? We'll never get another chance to find out. You and your worry about guns. If I'd have had my rifle, the girl couldn't have chased us away. 
When are you going to get some brains? I told you a gunshot would have brought people from the Mordasa village. I've listened to you long enough. I'm getting the map my way. You can come or stay here. I spent a stretch of five years in jail. And I'm not letting you get me sent up for another. All right, all right. Take it easy. But what do we do now? Once that mailman doesn't show up in Zanzibar, the jungle will be crawling with native police. We're going back there again. And if Bennett is still alive, we'll sit down and have a nice, quiet little talk with him. And if he's dead, then we'll have the talk with his daughter. That comfortable? <laughs> Feels fine. That's the second stab wound I've treated in the past 24 hours. The other one was the mailman. You're luckier. Yeah. Do you think those men will make another attempt to steal the map? No, I'd say they would. They're vicious enough to do anything. It's possible. I'd better stay here with you tonight. You and Willie camp nearby. Fine. Well, uh, let's see you later, Pat. Bye, Professor Ogden. Mister. So they did come back. Where's the other one? We heard the shots. Oh. Well, there's one accounted for. Did you notice anyone else outside? No, it's bright moonlight out. If there'd been anyone, we'd have spotted him. Howard, you'd better go to Mordoso and notify the authorities about these men. In case we have another visitor, I want to be around. Willie, you go with the professor. Too much people get dead wrong here. We should be back in the morning. your breakfast, Dr. Reynolds. I certainly did. There isn't anything as good as a woman's cookie. Dad will be right out. He's almost as good as new this morning. If you hadn't... Hello, Miss Bennett. I'm sorry. I didn't know you had visitors. It's all right, Mr. Blake. This is Dr. Reynolds. Of course, Dr. Reynolds. Rama to all the tribes. I'm glad to know you, Mr. Blake. Well, 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 Rod Blake. <laughs> Don't say you've come to me for another business talk. Business is business, Steve. But I always deal fair. Take a little, leave a little, I always say. Especially when it comes to diamonds. You know about Mr. Bennett's discovery? For some time. I tried to make a deal with him before. But Steve was smart. He held out. I'm ready to offer you a better deal this time. Let me be your agent. I'll get you a sensational price from a new syndicate. Well, I don't know. Dad's going to run the mine himself. Oh. That's so. Well, it's... Hard to make a living in the jungle these days. Hurt your arm? Oh, just a little accident. That's why I'm here. There was a man killed here last night trying to steal the map of the mine location. No, you don't say. 
Uh, you just come up from Ordosa? Uh, yes. Why? Uh, just wondering if any supplies had come in. I may need some. Probably did. Are you sure you won't reconsider about a deal? You can make yourself a pile of money selling out to a syndicate, and you won't have any of the work. Well, there may be something to that. Actually, Mr. Bennett has made me his advisor. Mind if we talk it over for a few minutes? Not at all, not at all. We'll be right back. Would you have a seat? All right, thank you. What was the idea of that, Tom? Blake didn't come from Mordosa. He was never there. He would have known about the man that was killed here. Everybody in town would have known about it five minutes after Howard made the report. My George, that's so. Now, look, tell him that you won't deal with him. That that another mailman is going to carry the other half of the map to Zanzibar. And then? We'll find out about Blake soon enough. <laughs> well, uh, we've talked it over, Rodden. It's no deal. I've decided to stick to my original plans and send my map for registration by the next mail. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Steve. I thought we could work it out. Best of luck, anyway. Good day. Well, the way you look now, even your own mother wouldn't know you. Me make fine mailman, huh? Jungle lady think really much big stuff. Like you say, Professor Ogden all the time. Hot diggity, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, there never was a better time for saying it. Tom, are you sure Blake will fall for the bait? If he's our man, he'll fall for it, all right. Now, remember, don't get too far ahead of us. Don't move too fast. The other mailman was killed, and we don't want it to happen to you. Me be careful, Doctor. Oh, here. Thank you. Well, you're all set, Willie. Start moving. We mustn't let him get more than 100 yards ahead of us. We can still shoot fairly accurately from that distance if we have to. All right, let's go. Fine, Doctor, but me think you're never going to shoot. Howard's searching for the map. Yeah, he's got it, all right. We're taking you in. The authorities will take care of you in short order. After that, I'll break the news to the Bennetts. You break the news to Bennett, and I'll break the news to his daughter. Oh, no, Howard, not again. <laughs> well, it's just research, you know, research, Tom. Research? Yeah, I want to find out why I get so dizzy just looking at a pretty girl. No doubt it'll be of great interest to science. All right, Blake, let's go. 